What you guys got another video here for you on how to fix a computer with no display or signal on the screen here. So the PC or the monitor have no power. Do you see a power LED light on the monitor at all? Are you getting any post beeps on the startup? Any of this sort of stuff? No signal display on the screen or are you just getting a black screen or are you just getting the PC with no power? Did you change your monitor cable? That's another common thing that people need to do because obviously cables do break over time have you tried the monitor on another pc you can try the monitor on any other pc or laptop and just get a display to see whether it works sometimes people forget to plug the monitor in and also the cable may have worked loose you may be getting the power led light coming on or you may get a black screen what you're seeing here and the computer is running in the background and you're getting no display at all. You may get a slight um, display if that is the monitor or the screen may be faulty and you may need to replace it. Now the easiest way to quickly diagnose a bad monitor is to swap it out. So swap that monitor out with another known good working monitor and see whether it powers up. If it does, then your monitor's bad. Quick and easy diagnosis. Again, you can plug the uh, HDMI cable into a TV to see whether you're getting any display and this will quickly rectify whether you've got a bad um, graphics card or any sort of something wrong with your computer. If you get no display on your TV then you know it's a uh, PC based and it's a quick and easy way to diagnose what the problem is whether it's to do with the monitor here or whether it's to do with a PC. So we'll go through some of the steps here and I'll show you some of the things that you can check to make sure that uh, your getting a signal to your monitor now also this could be pc based as well so be careful uh, not to just think it's the monitor you may know the monitor's good then you need to troubleshoot with the computer and find out what is going on so let's go ahead and uh, sort this out and try to troubleshoot this problem here okay so let's start off with the uh, basics we've got the power going to the monitor everything is powered on we've got the graphics card plugged in you can see here a common problem that people do is they plug in the cable in the wrong port modern day computers have APUs and also Intel CPUs have the GPU built into the CPU if you've got it plugged in in the wrong port here and you power it on the PC will power on and you'll get no signal this is because uh, the graphics card is not plugged in and you've bypassed it and gone straight to the CPU now if you add an APU uh, which is a built-in uh, GPU into the actual CPU itself then it would display you can see the port is for onboard graphics only many years ago you used to get onboard graphics uh, uh, on the board itself and they used to get hot and cause loads of problems back in the day but nowadays we've got them built into the CPU itself you can see here I've plugged it into the GPU now and straight away we've now got display coming up onto the screen so what we want to do is also check for any broken or bent connectors or any bent pins if you're using a different connector to HDMI check the computer also to make sure you haven't snapped any of the pins or bent any of them inside there whether you're using a HDMI or any other type of cable change your cable sometimes the cable is bent over at the back of the PC where you've pushed it back and that can break your connection you can have intermittent problems colors coming up on the screen it could be a bad cable it could be just about anything to do with that cable so make sure you change it it's cheap and a quick and easy fix another thing to check is your power adapter sometimes you get power adapters which are for the monitor screen itself like this one and it might not be plugged all the way in or pushed all the way in it also could be a bad cable here uh, which goes connecting to the actual adapter itself or the adapter itself could be bad so you want to check that and make sure that the cable is not faulty or the adapter is faulty if it is then replace it and you are good to go that is going to solve that problem so it's not always related to the monitor screen itself could be a bunch of different things here now another thing we're going to do is test the graphics card now if you do happen to have uh, an apu uh, from uh, say amd or you've got an intel processor which does have onboard graphics you can actually uh, plug that in if the board supports it and then disable the uh, graphics card and go straight away to the apu and if the monitor comes on you know the gpu is bad or you've got some problem with the GPU change over to the onboard graphics on the GPU 
and away you go and vice versa you can do it the other way around as well if you're using an onboard graphics get yourself a cheap graphics card plug it in and disable the onboard graphics and of course if you get power display coming onto the monitor here then you know it was the actual uh, APU a part of it that's gone bad or the, or the onboard graphics that's gone bad the power cable plugged in and it's fully seated on the GPU make sure that is correct also check down on the cable here another common thing for PC builders if you're getting no display it may be the case that you haven't plugged in the cable into the power supply make sure you've got full power at both ends so I'll quickly flip this round and show you make sure the switch is switched on very common basic mistake and also this end of the power supply if it's modular make sure the cable is plugged in both ends and it's fully seated sometimes when you're pulling around with cables messing about they can work loose and you'll lose display display integrity is due to PC not receiving a power signal would be due to an underpowered PSU another thing which will only be relevant is the PC doesn't power on the power supply could be bad and that would be only relevant in that case so make sure you got a power supply powerful enough to drive the graphics card that you got otherwise you will run into problems and you will have some intermittents on the uh, screen there might not get no display another common problem is due to RAM believe it or not and it's this contact here it needs to be clean and sometimes over the time they can get oxidization on the here or they can just get dirty especially if you're living in a climate which is pretty dusty and dirty you want to take that out and give that a good clean you can use a rubber to rub along there as nice soft rubber and clean up that contact it won't damage it at all and uh, you want to make sure the the actual slot is cleaned out so get a bit of a, a duster and clean that out uh, RAM sticks could be bad as well so you want to check the RAM to make sure the RAM is not bad because if you've got a bad stick of RAM that can play havoc with the display believe it or not so you need to check that and make sure that that isn't a cause of your issues you can run mem test and programs like that but the quickest way to test it is by either removing it and swapping it around or changing out the RAM with another known good stick of RAM and that's the quickest and easiest way rather than run mem test for god knows how many hours changing the CMOS battery or clearing the CMOS or taking the CMOS out and clearing any sort of information on there is a good thing to do you can take the CMOS battery out and pull the power lead out of the computer and then hold the power button down and this will clear any sort of information that is there and this can sometimes uh, bring it into life especially with laptops this can suddenly uh, clear any information and it will then suddenly show display and fire up which is a very common problem it's very important that you reseat the graphics card don't just look at it and say yep it's in the slot there it's fine you can clean that connector especially if it's an older type card you might want to clean this connector if it's a brand new card then and you know the card is good just pull it out and reseat it sometimes that can uh, resolve a lot of problems maybe it just wasn't seated in right and you're pushing on it and it's not seated just take it back out and give it another a little slot in there and that can sometimes resolve the problem once you've got that back in make sure you got the power uh, into there so an underpowered power supply is another big problem which you will run into sometimes so just make sure you got enough efficient power going to that gpu gpus are pretty hungry things and without the proper power being fed to it or using a cheap power supply sometimes that can run into problems so we've got everything back up and running the last thing really is a bunch of things that could be bad which is to do with the hardware like a bad cpu a bad GPU a bad motherboard which is not displaying you could also have a bad PSU or bad RAM any of the main components in there could be going bad or bad and that will stop a display happening but that's more of a uh, you know no power and stuff like that sort of related video this was related to video related things but I wanted to add those in just to make sure that you understand that it could be any one of those items in the computer itself that's causing a no display because obviously if you've got no power from the power supply you're not going to get a display if the CPU is bad you're not going to get a display so it's pretty common sense really when it gets down to that sort of thing bad motherboard can cause uh, those issues intermittent issues and you may need to replace it anyway that's going to be about it I think I've covered just about everything I'm pretty sure I've probably forgotten something in there and someone will mention it in the comment section as they always do but it's not always easy uh, trying to think of every single solution 
uh, off your head like this so you do sometimes miss things but it's different when you're troubleshooting with an item in front of you it's a lot more easier to troubleshoot anyway i'm going to wrap this one up my name is ben brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk hope this one helps you out if it does then give it a thumbs up and i shall see you again for another video on monday so thanks again for watching have a great weekend guys bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos.